58-year-old cons uh, man consulted an otolaryngologist for right frontal throbbing head pain and nasal congestion. The pain, which was never on the left or bilateral, was improved by rest in a quite dark room and analgesics. He had also episodes of photophobia, phonophobia, but no nausea. Nasopharyngeal endoscopy revealed deviated septum. A neurological examination was normal. CT scan had interpreted as being normal. So a diagnosis of migraine was made, and he was advised tryptin. Quite simple. Uh, we shall come back on this case scenario later on. Well, first of all, headache history. Objectives, mainly two. Classify symptoms into a group, pointing towards a diagnosis. And secondly, identify red flags, which require immediate addressal. Now, this was the suggested framework suggested by Wallman. I shall be going into these one by one. Well, beforehand, uh, I would like to discuss these two terms, which I shall be discussing throughout my, uh, I will be referring throughout my presentation, that is primary and secondary headache. Well, primary headache means idiopathic pain conditions, and secondary means some headaches out of some pathologic processes. Well, international headache uh, classification includes these conditions under these two terms. Well, the interesting thing is that this primary headache contributes to approximately 90% of all the headaches which are there. So, first of all, chronicity. Long-standing stable headache is essentially a non-dangerous kind of an entity, uh, not associated with loss of life or limb. The special interest should be taken on sudden severe headache or sudden change in the pattern of a headache. Well, common pitfalls while assessing the chronicity are failing to recognize new symptoms which are superimposed on chronic headache symptoms and attributing the sudden onset of symptoms to a benign cause. Age at onset. Headache patients of older age usually have this tension headache or medication 